classical victory. He never squandered the classical win. Our best player of the game, David Aguilar, and the coach, Jeff Congratulations, gentlemen. Coach Lee, Manila Classicals are always expected to be close games. What would you identify as the biggest challenge Magnolia hosts to you tonight? Well, they're such a great uh, pressure defensive team, and they're, it's really hard to execute through their 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 pressure and uh, um, you know that that's their that's their calling card and then you've got uh, on the offensive side you've got the two really quick guards and Gio and Mark and then you know you got to chase Paul Lee all over the place so it's it's a really it, it's a it's a it's really well coached team they know what they want to do every time out on the floor every time they come to a game they know exactly how they want to play so that's what makes them them really difficult. But I, I just want to say I'm, I'm I'm I like what our guys did. You know, we we came from that tough loss against Morocco. We were kind of embarrassed out there, and uh, you know they really showed that they they care. You know, they care about their fans. They cared about their performance, and they came in here and and I thought they were really locked in, um, and uh, and you know that's this is the way we we expect to play and hope to play all the time. The watch were able to keep themselves in striking distance, but when did the momentum shift for your forward and for you, how did it happen? Uh, I think it was like 53 to 49 or something like that, and then we went on like a 10-0 uh, run that, that gave us a lead and started giving us a little bit of confidence. Um, and it was, it was led by mostly our second group, so uh, I think Sydney was out there at the time, and LA was out there at the time, and um, so that's the kind of thing that we're we're trying to build here. We, I think people are underestimating how much Scotty Thompson means to us, and you know, playing without Scotty is has been a difficult adjustment for us. Uh, finding guys to step up and and uh, and and bring that uncommon energy that he brings. But uh, I thought Nars did a good job coming in today. And uh, I really liked the way Stanley and Matt played. And even LA, LA came out and, and really got us into execution. Coach, do you have updates on Scotty? No. Honestly, no. We, we have, it's a, it's a back issue. You, you really can't put a timetable on that. Um, he's doing everything he can to, to get back in the lineup, but uh, it doesn't look like there's a short term answer for it. It's, it's going to be a while yet. Yeah, Ben, congratulations. Coach did mention that this game, you guys really showed how much you care, what you're made of comparing to the Morocco loss. On court, what did you see were the biggest differences? Um, first on uh, defense, um, like Coach reminded us to, um, that's our team uh, identity. We are a defensive uh, team first. And um, it's a, a total team mm -hmm. effort. Um, most of the guys really step up in this game. It's always hard playing against uh, Mike Moe. Yeah, you mentioned in the down table whenever we talk about the value you created the team, especially in an all Filipino conference. But tonight we saw two points in the first half and then 16 in the end. Looking at it on what changed, what possibly to switch things up? Um, I uh, adjusted in the second half. I was kind of forcing my shot in the first half. And um, on the second half, I was just taking those uh, mid-range because um, they were rotating, but they're already in the paint. So I was uh, um, just trying to get those uh, mid-range shots. So, and I'm uh, trying to find the open spot on the second half. Was there, was there still momentum coming from you winning MVP in the All-Star weekend? <laughs> Uh, it's uh, I think so. Well, actually, it's uh, it's a long way um, just to be in this position. Uh, really, um, I'm trying to be consistent, to be healthy, and you know, um, um, working um, outside uh, the court. So, yeah, I'm trying to get my uh, uh, conditioning back again. So. Opening the floor to questions from the media. Stephen, congratulations. What's your 
one is revenue in writing of another revenue in actually. You bet. How big is this? What is the bigger one? I think it's huge. Uh, I think our confidence took a little bit of a hit when we played Moralco and we needed something to get us back uh, going forward. Um, uh, you know, the, it, this this one game was just really truly an effort game for us. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't just real good effort on defense. Uh, we, we, we hit the boards hard. Uh, we got back well. All those effort things came out tonight, especially in that second half. So. Um, that's going to give us a lift, I think, more than anything going into the uh, San Miguel game. Right now, San Miguel's playing at a level that they don't look like they're beatable. But, uh, um, you know, we'll see what we can do. Well, I think Stanley realized, number one, that, uh, you know, we, 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 we've been trying. I told him, actually, this week that, uh, um, you know, normally we try to manage Stanley's minutes, you know, try to keep him down so that he, he can stay, continue to stay healthy. Uh, but I told him this week that, you know, with Scotty out and with no Justin Brownlee, you know, he needs to really step it up and, and I'm going to have to play him more minutes. I'm going to start him in the game and play him more minutes. And, and, uh, and he was like, yes, let's do it. I'm ready. So, um, you know, we just hope he can he can manage the, the heavy the heavier minutes and not break down. And if he does, you know, he's a, he's a dominant player in our league. So, uh, um, and I think he's excited about getting back to playing normal minutes and not having it managed all the time. Great energy, yeah. Great energy, and, and uh, you know he attacks the boards really, really hard. Um, uh, he's not afraid of anybody. He's got that big body that bangs, you know, that, that knocks people around. And uh, you know he's he's kind of taking hold of that backup position between Japheth and Christian. You know, and and uh, well, that's what we really want him to do. We want him to take hold of that backup position of uh, give these guys a break when they need the break. And um, you know, hopefully we. We caught on to something this game, and uh, we can use it moving forward in terms of Sydney coming out and playing valuable minutes. But, um, um, still, not, we're not in the middle part of the elimination, but you see this, by this game, as the games were, were chances on the road? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's still a little early. You know, um, you know I don't think that we are exactly where we want to be as a team. I think Japheth would say that also. Um, we expect to to get better as, as the conference goes along. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, you're always battling for that top two. So uh, this is a big game in terms of that, that top two position. We know Sam Miguel's probably gonna get one of those top two positions. And Magnolia was probably gonna get the second. So beating Magnolia was really important. Uh, still gives us a shot at that top two. Um, not to say nobody else can get there, but, you know, those two guys seem like the, the favorites. So, um, if we can get out, figure out a way to come up with a victory at San Miguel uh, would be a big thing in terms of helping us to the top two. Coach, uh, please. Why do you confident about you just won the 100 win of Ginebra over uh, Magnolia and this mm -hmm. <laughs> I just heard, I heard you say it. I was like, is that true? I, I wish I was at all 100, 100 wins. I've had, I've had probably more losses. I've been piling on the losses in that, in that matchup recently. So, uh, yeah, it's been great to, to finally get that one. We, we, you know, they've handled us pretty well over the last couple of uh, you know, three or four conferences or something. Years. Yeah. Uh, I hate to say year. That sounds really bad. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, they, they've handled this pretty well, so it was really sweet to come out and, and get this one and get that 100. Um, and uh, uh, I think most of those are going to go to, uh, most of those wins are going to go to Sonny Jaworski, not me. You know, he's, he's been there battling those guys ever since the Alvin, Jerry, Dindo era. So it's been a great rivalry. We look, we look forward to it. I know, I know they look forward to it as well. To be 100 for the 104 losses and 100 wins, yeah. so we're minus four.
It's been happening. Oh, it's been a lot. Of, been a been a big one. Been a big 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 rivalry. I probably have 50 of those 104 losses.